and you come crawl and then uh, you need black and white polish black and white polish and then um, black and white polish uh, moonlight effect or a really strong strong cat eye silver cat eye if you don't have that, you can skip that. It just gives a little more effect for the eyes. For the dragon eyes, I will want to start somewhere uh, up here. And I will draw up, not straight across, up to about halfway. And then I go down, okay? And then the next one, I go down to about right here. Okay, so later on, our eye is going to be like this. Okay. And then on this, we're going to use texture effect gel. So we apply texture effect gel here. We apply texture effect gel here. And then we're going to start doing uh, the scale. So there's multiple ways of doing the scale. You can either crisscross it like this which is very easy for all of you. Or you can try to do something more difficult, but this one is the easiest. It's just by crisscrossing it. This is an easier way to do the scale. Um, or you can go ahead and do this. So one round, two round, and then another one, one round, two round, just like that. So this is more difficult. And more time consuming. So, what we do today is we're gonna do the easy one, but I'm gonna give you a little extra effect. So we're gonna do a crisscut pattern, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna mask this. And then we're gonna take 3D jelly, and we're gonna make each one of these shine. So it looked like an extra scale, okay? It looked like an embossed scale. We're gonna put 3D jelly on each and every one of these little square. So if you don't want it to take too much time, then space it, space it out more. But after that, it will look really cool. So that to me, I show you the easy way. Um, it just take uh, one more step, but an easy way, it don't need, your hand don't need to be stable for this part, like right here, it's very easy but the effect will be really cool. So that's what we're gonna do today. And in here, um, let's say this whole thing is black, we're gonna put white in the middle and we're gonna just bloom it out, just like that. And then put stained glass gel on and then draw on the eyes, okay? And out here, we can just leave it open and then go start. We're gonna put it all around the eye to make sure that it's hot the cool, crazy texture of the dragon. Okay. So, this now is already matted. The one that doesn't have a mat now, I give you a, a minute to get ready before we start it. Uh, can you get me the other phone desk? The medium phone. Dustin is uh, right here. Dustin just waking up, so give Dustin a little more time. <laughs> Is that how you're doing them? Yes. And remember, this is your list. Black texture of fat gel is a must. Okay. Unicorn chrome, make it nice. Uh, all of this, you can get by with all of this. You have to have black texture of fat gel, no matter what. Okay, let me set the timers for you. You were going to give them a minute and 20 seconds. Right. So now it's only 30 seconds left. It's just a matte top coat. Nothing special. Nothing special, but they can't cure it. 26 seconds. Honey, you make them nervous. Good, good. No, you should be like... It's good to be nervous. 26 seconds, sweet girls. You just give them all you know. Hey, hey. 
Hey, 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 First thing first is a black texture effect gel, of course. You're going to do the scale right away. Take it out. Now, applying it, you need just a lander brush. Nothing special. 10 millimeters. You also need a flat brush for later to apply it. Uh, let me get my flat brush. You need a flat brush also, a liner brush and a flat brush, and an engraving tool. Engraving tool look like this. You can get a dotting tool, but make sure it's really small at the end. You don't want any bar at the end. See the end is really small. There's no bar at, at with my tool. It blend. Okay, get all three out. Let's start with a liner brush. Let me put this aside and so we're done with this. Okay. Now I'm gonna draw the art dragon eyes now. So from this point, I go up, go down, okay. From this point, I kind of space it out just a little bit. Go down and then I slightly curve in, curve into about here. Then go back down. I give you 10 seconds to draw this shape right here. Remember, don't draw like a leap shape. Okay, draw this shape. I already showed you the dynamic of it. Okay, because most people don't know they would draw a leap shape. Everything is even. Uh, draw exactly this shape. Go up a little bit into the middle and then go down. And then this one go down to about right here and then go slightly across and then go down again. 10 seconds. <laughs> Pressure. <laughs> no worry, I give the people a little extra. It, it's actually more than 10 seconds now, but I, 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 I time in with my head, so. <laughs> It don't have to be a Zach. <laughs> Hi, Susie Mixon. Hope you're ready for the dragon eyes this morning. I'm thinking I might do another live tomorrow at 10. I was thinking of denim. I don't know yet though. Let me see. I'm gonna go over my head to see what I have to do tomorrow. First. All right, now get out the flat brush. Um, the flat brush, you, you can replace it with uh, whatever brush that you like to apply gel on. I like flat brush. I take flat brush out, I give it a little scoop. Apply to the bottom. Give it a little scoop, just a little bit. Apply to the top with texture effect gel, okay? Now I distribute it out to make it all nice and even. No, no. Uh, with this, there's no substitute for this. Texture effect gel is no replaceables. That's why it's the only product in the market right now. That's why if you're not familiar with Tinovo Shop, you wouldn't know what black texture effect gel is or do. 
um, but after today, you will find out what it does. Uh, so take screenshot of it. Uh, take screenshot of uh, this so you remember that this using this product. Now, if you really, really want, you can use gel pen. You can use gel pen to uh, work together with us so you can find out what uh, the gel pen would not do for you. You can use gel pen just to experiment. <laughs> Are you making fun of my accent, cat, cat claws? <laughs> okay, take out the engraving tools. You need the engraving tool now. Okay. Take a screenshot of this so you remember that this using this product. Now I take our paper towels. I'll give you another 30 seconds to uh, fill in this. Actually, give you a minute. So keep go on at it. Do not care this, remember, do not care, do not care, do not care. If you care, throw away that now and start over. Do not care. 46 seconds. Um, <laughs> thank you, <laughs> Foxy. Um, so I try the gel pen. Yes, Susie tried the gel pen. All right, 20 seconds. You, you better go at it. You better get on at it. Don't be left behind. 17 seconds. And the ones that are done, please get out this tour so you don't want any bars at the end. If there is one, I guess you can survive with it, but little one. You don't want a big, big tour. You want a little tool. Nothing too pointy, neither. Like a head of the pen. That's what you want. All right, let's make our scale. Uh, if you're still behind, no worries. Because this is so easy. Now remember, your paper towels, get it out here, okay? You have to have the paper towel handy. Preferably something that are no, uh, no lint. Or I use Viva paper towel. I like Viva paper towel. Okay. So you, we're gonna follow the eye first. And then this one, we start about right here, but when we end, we end it a little closer. So let me do the first one for you to see. Start it out right here, and when I'm ending this, I'm pulling it in so it's closer, smaller here, bigger here. Okay, just like this, please. You know, I hear the problem a lot. A lot of people couldn't record the sound. So you couldn't. A lot of people, when they screen recorded, they couldn't record the sound. So they couldn't hear my heavenly angel, angelic voice. Angelic voice? Yes. So my baby sitting his cats and dogs for no good reason? No, no, no. When they screen recorded. remember every stroke that I made I wipe it see that all of that that from the wiping when I wipe it let me zoom in a little closer so see see I have gel on my uh, tip 
uh, you need to stop whatever you're doing and take a look at this because this is important. So there is gel on my tips and when I wipe it, I place it down. I don't pull it because when you pull it, it straight away some paper towel and this lint will be stuck on the tool. So I place it down and then I twirl it. I, I spin it. So it wipe up other gel. See that? I'm going to do it one more time. Okay, stop whatever you do and look at this. This is very important. Lay it down. Spin it. Okay, that's why your tool is white completely. If you if you do it like this, like wiping it like this, sometimes it shred and lint and it's stuck into your tool. See that? There already one about. Okay, it's last now. But there will be lint stuck in your tool and you don't want that. All right. Now, you just simply do land oppositely from it. So you go going across, now you're going up. If you behind, keep going. It's a very simple step. So don't worry about missing anything. This one I go down, all the way down, all the way. And then I go across again just because I pushed in wet gel into my previous line so some of it get uh, flooded. So I'm just going across again. I give you about a minute to complete this. Oh, okay, two minutes, two minutes. Some people might take a little longer. Yes. The one that are done with this, you can cure this. When I'm done with this, I'm going to go ahead and cure this. I, I will cure it for 45 seconds because that's a maximum machine, but you can cure it for 60 seconds. You boot mat down before the effect gel. I know that when I cut mine, um, it's, I slip after now. Yes, uh, it's very important that you have mat first. So you always need mat first. Remember, that's why I give you a minute to do the math. Now, I'm giving you two minutes to complete this. Two minutes. Because some of you might go slower, so two minutes. Take your time, take your time, complete that. Two minutes. Yes, that's what's a different, Susie. <coughs> what's a different on texture effect gel and gel paint? Texture Factor can do this, and gel pen can't. 
That's why I encourage to use gel pen to practice if you don't have that gel, that gel. So you can see the difference between that gel and this gel. Can you mix hot gel with black gel pen? No, because hot gel is also cell leveling. But you can also um, dry that just to see how special this texture of that gel is. Can I saw the paper for the draw? This is the papers. So the eye go up and down. This one is down slightly over and down again. And then just the rest is just crisscross. And then after that, you're gonna mat, chrome it, mat it, and you're gonna put a little dot of 3D jelly on it. So it's become embossed, like an actual dragon scale. All right, 17 seconds left. 17 precious seconds left. Get ready, get ready for the next step. So uh, uh, anybody that done, go ahead and take out your favorite unicorn chrome. I'm gonna choose like three colors. All right. Now I'm gonna choose like coral, green, and blue. You choose your favorite colors. Uh, you want it to be more than one, so it looks like chameleon-like. Uh, Lisa, um, with a thin layer of acrylic, it will work too. It will break apart easier, but you can be able to engrave it. However, you cannot uh, chrome this. Uh, but you can try that just to see. Because this part right now, we're going to chrome directly on this. So you can try that too, just to see how special this texture effect gel is. Nope. Chrome first and then matte. Manifesto nails. All right, get ready, get ready. Okay, I'm gonna chrome it now. Uh, if you haven't get through this step first, no worry, because I'm just chroming this. Nothing special. Um, I'm going to chrome this part first with... Actually, I'm going to chrome near the eye first with the coral chrome. Okay, this part right here. Right here. You know what? I might chrome the mat too. Just so you can see that matte can adhere chrome also. I'm chroming the matte too. Okay, so next to the eye, so this is what you need, what you need. Go ahead and do that. And then you dab at the end, just so you, it can look like it ombre, okay? Just like this, just like that. doesn't have to watch the puppy because they they have been restless <laughs> okay get to this step first and then I move on I wait a little bit for you guys a minute a minute on this chrome before I go on because it do, it is a little tricky to to kind of ombre it kind of tap it just slightly tap so it look ombre at the end okay and uh, I, I will chrome on this Thing to since it have matte top coat on it, it adheres to matte top coat. The one that I mistakenly put shine in the background, then it, it this part will be chrome too. But I don't want this part to be chrome. I just want a little color on this. Twenty eight second. Twenty two second. Keep going. Keep going. You can do this. You can do this. 17 seconds, keep going, keep going. Don't be left behind. Um, that your container on um, potential Elos Chrome C. 
um, if anyone speaks Spanish, please help them on the uh, understanding of the product. Time's up. I'm gonna continue with the next Chrome. Don't worry if you still doing this Chrome. Cause I'm still chroming. Nothing special. Nothing special going on. Okay. So next color will be green, and then blue last. So just a little bit of green actually. Just tap it, tap it. So it's it's not solid. It kind of like ombreish. green and then fill in with blue my favorite on black colors and black color it turned out this um the chameleon blue blue and purple is so pretty so if you struggle with your alternative product you can now understand how important is this texture effect gel have to play with you can use texture effect gel on pretty much everything All right, I'm gonna dust this. I give you a, a minute, no, a two minute to complete all the chroming and everything. Cause we are about to jump to the next step. Two minutes. Thank you, uh, Ludi Kessalon. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the glitter hutch. I these chrome. Your yes, yes. You can find it on uh, www.tnovo.shop. You go on art powder category, and then in the art powder category, you will see a unicorn chrome. If you scroll down, you will see it. And this is coral unicorn chrome. This is blue and green. Just like that. Look how pretty already. But we're not done yet. We're going to put matte on this. Just because the, 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 the skin pattern is so simple. We're going to put matte on this and we put 3D jelly on the square so it looks even more embossed. If you don't want to, you can stop right here and not go into anything further and just top coat the skin. If you're happy with the skin like this, you can you cannot do anything further with the skin and that'd be fine. So if you do it on your client, if you're in a hurry, you can stop right here Then that will look just as good but i will go further just for you guys to have some extra knowledge on this so you can either choose to do it or don't remember the technique that i taught you uh, for each design you can you can skip uh, layer if you feel like it's in unnecessary you can skip it but i still gonna teach you anyway so you will know it all and then you have a joy to either leave it or skip it Hello, body ya Dave. Yes, the plot is ticking. Yes. I'm supposed to <laughs> I'm supposed to pay in, be paying bill, but I gotta watch Larry. <laughs> okay, two minutes is over. Okay, time is up. So you should have this by now, okay? You should have this by now. Now, I'm going to math this because I'm going to go further with it. If you're not going further with it, you, then you put no white top coat onto the skin, okay? But I'm putting matte because I'm going further. I'm not stopping right here yet. So I take matte and I apply on top of the chrome. Don't play around with it too much because you don't want it to bleed. Just lightly dust over it. If there any missing spot, it's okay. At least you can double coat it. The second coat will be safer than the first coat. The first coat, you just want to slide through. And sometimes if people now are tricky, if they have too much of a C curve, you might miss some spot on the side. Don't keep brushing it. Kill it and then put on another layer. Because the second layer will be safer because the chrome is already protected. I just don't want you to bleed the chrome. Look how beautiful this chrome is. You don't want to bleed it. You don't want to make it glittery. 
Look how nice it is. Because it's made from the very fine pigment. So the gem that is become glittery is, is less than the typical chrome. The powder chrome is easier for it to be glittery. All right, I'm kidding for 60 seconds. Give you a minute to do that. What I'm give you two minutes because you have to kid it anyway. Two minutes to apply and cure. Get ready, get ready. Make sure you have it matte. No worry. If you just started, I just put on a matte pop coat on a blank nail. I cured it for 60 seconds. Then I put the black texture effect on. And then I just make a crisscross pattern over the texture effect. Cure for 60 seconds. Then put on chrome. After I put on chrome, I matted the whole things. So it's very simple. The first two, uh, one or two step is very simple. A minute and 20 seconds. I told you yesterday, come on time, come at 10. I told you, so don't miss anything. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, tomorrow I'm gonna do another live at 10, okay? And I'm thinking denims. Cause denim, a lot of people do a fantastic job with it. It is so easy for you to rock the denim looks. And plus on top of it, I might, I might do some design. Now, a no wipe top coat will be slightly more difficult. You have to cure more often in between, but it's what you have to settle with if you don't have a no wipe uh, builder gel or, or 3D jelly. But 3D jelly is semi-important. Um, however, there is alternative for it, and I just told you the alternative. A no wipe builder gel or a no wipe top coat. But still, if you can get your hand on um, 3D jelly, it's still preferred. Let's get started. On a mass surface, your life is always at 10, not necessary. Sometime on nails party, I start at 12 on Wednesday. And then um, uh, beside that, I also have a 6 o'clock on Wednesday also. Um, how you can do it, let me go ahead and schedule the live right now so so you know too Let, okay add Interactive live. Interactive live. Wanna do along with me? You have to get uh, shredded chin. Actually, rip chin. That sound better. Rip chin. Nail set. We're gonna try to do like uh, three now. So I have uh, enough nail tip out. Tomorrow, Tuesday, August second at ten o'clock. Don't be late. That's your live video. Now, let me show you where to check. If you want to check on live and the timing, go on my Instagram, Votino. Go down here, you see the schedule. You click on this, you will see all the time and the date on that. So that's how you check it. Let's do the scale. Everybody is... Uh, ready for the scale now. Let's do the scale. Now, I for this, let me try to use an engraver uh, Ventura. So let me try to use it just to see if it's easier for me. So I use an engraver Ventura. To me, this is easier because I can just dip and then dip it back in here. Since it's a piece of metal, it doesn't get stuck easily and it gets stuck on my brush. If you want, you can get uh, a pointy brush too. Let me get a, a brush to show you. So you, whatever you want to make each dot shine, I'll get a pointy brush out to try this. I 
I like the pointy brush too. So whatever you like, you can do whatever you like. As long as it's pretty like this. If it's not pretty, you have to reject it. But if it's pretty, you can do whatever you like. Now, if you use top coat, then you have to make sure to flash here in between. So let's pretend that it's this top coat. So top coat, need flash here, one, two, three, and then keep going, okay? Remember that. So I'm thinking, I'm stuck to the engraving tool uh, on this cut. I like my engraving tool. It's, I think it's better than uh, my brushes on um, the 3D jelly. I think it's less messy. Just dip and then re-dip. Should be easy enough. I'll give you uh, three minutes. No, it's a little long for, a little uh, short for people. Four minutes. I'll give you four minutes. There should be plenty of time in four minutes. Now, at this point, you should notice that uh, if your pattern is four, Blow that, then you would just have to spend more time on reshining it. So, this is a learning experience on you. If you're in a hurry and you feel like you don't want to waste a lot of time, then you have to space out when you crisscrossing it, you have to space it out so you can do less that. Remember the learning experience. Learning experience is important too, just in case uh, when you put your design into uh, application uh, to do it on your client, you have to know how to maneuver your time too. You cannot just take what you learn and get stuck to it. You have to know how to take stuff out of it if you run out of time. That is a way that you can uh, have a successful session with your client is to do what necessary and what not necessary. Unless, unless that client is a really, really good client, she's a really expensive client, then you you try your best. That That is a time to use everything that I taught you to apply it to your client. But if it's a normal client, then you just you can take out like a extra step, you know, you can skip this step you can just be happy with this when it shine, okay? That is for a client who tip you like five, ten dollar. A client who tip you like fifty bucks. You need to do this so she can be like impressed. Two minutes left. Now I'm racing with you because I was doing it and talking at the same time. And when I do that, I get distracted. But now the two minutes left, I'm racing with you. A minute and 29 seconds. And remember that your little dot, it don't have to be perfect. It don't have to cover the square completely. You can just have one dot right in the middle and it will show the contrast between matte and shine. That will make your dragon so much prettier too. Here this little. When, whenever I have two that are close together, I, I flash it real quick so it don't, it don't further blend into each other. Oh my God, I love it. Hear this? Twenty-four second, guys, for this. 
24 second yes and if you use your own chrome you now get to see the difference between quality too i'm glad you like it aprinova thank you 80 p.m now time's up time's is up okay i give you another 30 seconds I'm still caring. Okay, the ones that are done, please take out some black gel polish. I'm gonna do it a little easier this time. Would not because usually when I'm doing it, I, I use art gel and I, I shade it, I blend it very tricky. But I understand uh, for level one, I'm showing you an easier way. Still the same technique though. Still the same result, but easier. Call it a uh, um an improved technique. Does uh you have to give them a chance to fully load? Um, it does. You have to give them yes. First time watch your video. I'm very happy. Thank you, APM. We do live every week. Remember to follow our live schedules. This right here, AP, ADPM, is how you can follow our live schedule. Down here in my Instagram, I will show every day and time. Tomorrow, there's going to be another one on Rip Chin. Rip Chin should be uh, fun. All right. Now, black gel polish. I chew whey gel. You can chew whatever you brand you like. Whatever on your shell that are black, take it out. And they're going to need some white gel too. Black gel out. White gel. Mm, where are you? Oh. Find you. Some white gel. Take it out. White gel polish. Any brand. So black gel polish. White gel polish. Nothing special. Yes. But um, La Touche a Glamour. Um, tomorrow, you should do it with us too because um, that'd be funner. That'd be funner to see the process. That way you can, can see what's, what to do and what not to do too. Um, now, get out my pointy brush. Um, oh, these are La La Gozi. The one that in Middle East um, uh, language, um, they they're not scammer. Um, they they are uh, the government prevent them from communicating with each other. So they use Instagram live platform at a place where they can communicate with each other and um, or mess with you, whatever it is. Um, they are harmless, just very annoying. And as I go along, I'm taking a look at the screen and I'm blocking them. At, as I go, um, I find out that moderator <coughs> that moderator cannot block them. I find out that moderator can only remove them, so it's okay. I I block them personally. I have so I have to design and then look at the screen at the same time. But it's okay. I get used to it. Um, so just kind of ignore them. I got I got uh, I can I get them handled. Okay, so a circle, easier with a pointy brush. If you don't have the pointy brush, you just have to take out a liner brush. But a liner brush is going to take a long time and it's going to be thicker. Hello, Panda Faleros. Hello. Thank you, APM Nails. Okay, hear this. Full kit, so a uh, 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 iris for the black, and oh, and remember, don't go over the scale, okay? When you get to the scale, stop and follow the line of the scale. Very important. Let me put it out on papers because this right here, I can see a lot of disaster on this. Let me get my pen out now. These are the eyes. I can see a lot of people gonna mess up on this. These are the scale around it, right? This is the scale, this is the scale. Okay, this is the eyes, okay? 
when you draw a circle, let's say this is your circle, when you get to here, you have to stop and follow this line to about right here and then continue your circle. Down here, you have to stop and follow this line. Remember that. Because if people doesn't know, they will go like this. They will go over it. They will go over it. And you don't want to go over the scale. You want to stop at the line where the eyelid is. You want to stop right there. You want to stop. Right here, you want to stop. Okay? Remember that. Remember that. Don't forget that. Now, I'm going to take out my matte top coat. I'm going to give you 15 seconds to finish the circle and cure. Actually, a minute. Cut. People have to cure it anyway. Minute. The ones that are done, go ahead and take out matte top coat. Just leave it there. Prepare for it. I'm waiting on the rest. Bribery. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Karen. Now, Karen619. Um, right now, uh, we still... Um, because uh, we we expanded uh, to Europe more than to Asia, so I'm so glad to have someone from Japan here to join us. So welcome to our live. Let me block some of the um, the scribbler a little bit. But welcome to our live, Japan. Tell your friend from Japan to join our live because we don't have a lot of uh, Asia. We don't have a lot of Asia. We need a lot from China, a lot from Korea and Japan, please. Time's up. But we have a lot of Germany, Australia. We have a lot of Australia. Uh, Africa, we have a lot of Africa too. I'm very happy about it. But we need more from Asia. All right. So with the mat, I am going to... So let, let's put some mat out here. With matte top coat, okay. Uh, I tell you why I'm gonna use matte in a second. I need a filler brush. If you don't have this, you need this today. You need to get this because a filler brush is not a round brush. It's a flat brush. It is much smaller, like a brush from your gel polish bottles. It's like that. So I use it to stroke. So I dip a little bit of matte top coat. And I struck it lightly over this. And the reason I use this brush because I don't want a lot of gel. I just want a thin layer of matte. That's why I use it to stroke. Because the round brush, you don't stroke. You 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 uh you stroke too, but you, you do it in circular motion a lot. But this one you only stroke it. So if you wanna apply or feel something that are really thin, you use this brush to fill it in. So the reason why I have matte on here, let me show you. Because now I'm going to use a round pointy brush. I'm going to dip some white in. And I'm going to put it right here in the middle. The reason why I use matte because gel don't bloom to matte. It's bloom to shine. Shined it, it's bloom. To 3D gel, it bloom, but to matte, it doesn't bloom. I use a 7 millimeters brush, a line of brush that are small. So the ones that are still behind need to stop and look at this before they keep going. So stop everything you do right now and look. So I have matte above the surface, right? So, hold on, let me move this a little up. Okay, so I have matte above the surface. Now, and I do not cure this. Now I put Y on top and then I drag this out. So I drag this down to a point. It's like a teardrop, okay? I drag this up to a point. So one line up and then everything from the middle go to that point. I'm not done yet. On this side, I slowly use my brush to 
pull everything out and look at that. You are welcome on this easy technique. Use it for any eyes that you do. Except for the human eye, you don't use a slit. You just let it stay at the circle and you drag it out. But the one is like a dragon eye, so you do a split. You are very welcome on this. And remember, if you use anything other than matte, you will be sorry for this technique. Because this technique right here, I use matte, so look at all my line. Nine and crisp. Nothing bland or texturized. You want that. Remember the you mat. Easy breezy. Can't wait for Halloween to do eyes. Woohoo! Or not Halloween. We do eye earlier because we design uh, ahead of season. Uh, start from August. We we'll do a uh, Halloween tutorial and fall tutorial right away. August, I will have interactive, uh, not interactive live, but uh, seasonal live where I demonstrate uh, seasonal design. So very fun in August. From August to March, I'm going to go all the way seasonal design every single week. All right, here this. Okay, and I'll give you a good three minutes for the, the left behind. I'll give you three minutes to kind of catch up on this. Um, but this is very simple. You just need mat so you can pull all the way out. Very simple. Take your time. And and I hope you, you like my little pressure that I put on you today. Um, usually uh, for the beginners, I call the beginner a lot, you know. Give them all the time in the world that they need. Praise them, applaud them, uh, because they need encouragement. But when you get to about level five or six, uh, I will be very stern, okay? No mercy at that point. At that point, you are good to go. At that point, I will no longer call at you, okay? I'm gonna yell at you if you make mistake, okay? I'm, I'm gonna... No, no mercy at that point. Okay, now you need stained glass. Uh, you need um a moonlight effect. Moonlight effect. So is it like the spine of it? Now you take out moonlight effect or cat eyes. No worry, I'm not starting now. I'm just I'm still give you a good minute. No worry. Just get to that part. This part right here. Yes. Uh, for the last uh three or four months. I'm still going over level one for everyone because level one is still very interesting um, for the, um, even for the circle that I'm in right now. A lot of people still doesn't understand uh, product and technique because I have very special product. So level one, we're going to play it for, uh, with, for this year. Sometime I come out with level two, just sometime. But next year going to be way different. Next year, you're gonna, it's going to be more difficult. Um, but the one that are watching the live right now, you will be catching up. Uh, next year, uh, the one that are new next year, that you have to put up with it. Because we're growing and uh, we're not going to look behind us. Um, so after this year, we're going to do less level one and more of level two. All right. Now, time is up. Let's take out moonlight effect or a really strong silver cat eye would be cool too. Now, I'm going to apply it all over this eye, all over it. Whatever I just made, I apply it all over this, all over. So I take moonlight effect and I put it all over this. I still haven't stepped uh, deep into moonlight effect because that's level two when I use it to design like roses and all that. But I will get into it later. You need a magnet to magnetize this. So I'm finding my magnet right now. This is a magnet. Now, 
and I'm magnetizing it. Put it close to here. Push it in. Put it close here. Move very slowly in just in case. Cause you don't want to move really fast. Cause you don't want to be surprised. Close. Go all the way in. Go all the way in here. Good. Now, clear this. I have cat eye in pink that will do for now. Okay, good, good. Then your dragon will be pinkish. <laughs> but no worry, you can use stained glass gel to add color in it. That's why you are uh, this color, titanium, because then I can put color in. My color is going to be number one. Number eight, deep blue and bright yellow. I will take that out. Put some deep blue out here. Put some yellow. Hello, Mono 8 style. I lie. Mono 8 liar. Hello, hello. Uh, hold the magnet. Let me show you. So, when you do it this way, far away, okay, you approach it, you see what happened. They will push it in. If you put a ma magnet on top of it, it will pull it in together from both sides. But if you should do it from outside, you push it in, it will push in the particle. And then you lift it out, and this same way, push it in and push it in so the outside can be dark and the inside can be light. I give you a minute for this. So a minute. No worry, now tell official. I have more life. This is just one of my life. This is interactive life, that's just one of them. I have more and more life for you to see. So if you miss one, it's okay. Thirty-three second. Better get on at it. Get on at it. Uh, hi, Lala Gozi. Interactive live today is just a dragon eyes. I do more on nails party on Wednesday. In the active day, uh, I just do uh, one or two design because people have to follow it anyway. Okay. Now, I'm going to take blue and yellow and blend this together. So with that, you would need a filler brush or a pointy brush. I like my filler brush for this because I can stroke and blend it at the same time. So filler brush is my favorite for this. Take that out. And the paper towels, of course. Yeah, some people post in live on YouTube, but then they have to be free to record and post it. So you couldn't really count on that neither. So the best way for you to educate yourself is just to follow the life schedule and know what day and what time. And then uh, plan that out so you're free at that time so you can learn.
Why are you calling me today? All right. Now, time to take out the filler brush and putting color on. So I put blue about right here. And I kind of fade it out. I'm gonna leave yellow for close to the middle part because I want it to be bright in the middles. So some blue here. I'm gonna add some blue on this side too. In the middle, I'm gonna put yellow. Kind of so easy with stained glass gel to fade it out. That's why I tell you to get stained glass gel because then it will show the moonlight effect too. Oh, it's even better, cat claw. Oh no, doesn't it's in the other room. Doesn't have to watch the puppy because the puppy is relentless. Puppy is a week old, so whoo. Keeping up all night long, waking up all night long. Now we understand what it's like to have baby. Oh my god. Oh, suck the life out of you. <laughs> the homework document you kind of send doesn't load. Uh, text me again, Lala Gozi. Text me again so I remember, so I can resend it. I wouldn't remember on here. Hola, and Bo. Hello, hello. Okay, now take a yellow. Put it right here in the meadows. See that yellow blend with that blue and now it look like a greenish color in between. Mm -hmm. Kill this. So that is your eyes. Yes, Cloud 28. Mm-hmm, Melanie, yes. Now, we, we, don't, we don't have any children. Me and Dustin don't have any children. And Dustin say one day he might want some children. But me, oh, I don't know. Ooh, I like to travel. <laughs> I like to travel. I like to get uh, drunk if I want to. <laughs> I like to... <laughs> I just like to try after the sunset if I want to, and, and I cannot do that with kids, so I don't know. I just want, um, I'm just watching because I don't have product yet. I have to pay my husband medical bill uh, first before I buy the product. Yes, Karen, but you can take screenshot. You take screenshot so you remember all my steps. So just in case I, 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 I'm not demonstrating any, any technique, then you can look back at this. Uh, dragon eye, I'm going to demonstrate it now and then. Especially in the fall. The fall, I love to demonstrate dragon eyes. Um, you can use gel polish on this or you can use gel paint. I prefer something more, have more control. So I use black metal fake gel. Uh, you don't have to use this specific product. You can use a, um, like a liner gel or gel paint that would do just fine. Ray SS now. <laughs> I'm glad it's therapeutic for you. <laughs> Wait until I sing. When I sing, it's not going to be therapeutic. People run up when I sing. Like no one, no one, none of my friends invite me to karaoke since the first time they invited me. I think it's 10 years ago. Um, but no, they no, no longer invite me to karaoke night because... At first, they're like, you need to go, you need to go. And I'm like, no, no, I'm bad at singing. They're like, no, you're not. Everybody here is bad at singing. But the first time hearing me, they're like, you know what? You are bad at singing. Please, 
no more. But you see, the thing about me is I, I'm not going to start to sing, but when I start to sing, I wouldn't stop. I'm so proud of myself. So when I start to sing, I, I will keep singing all night. I follow you and I will hit that note, that Whitney Houston note. No. So be very careful. Are you guys gonna be quiet? Never to invite me to your karaoke night no, because sorry. I will ruin your night. I will. I promise. Hear this. Yes, my friend are afraid of me. Um, I, if 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 I were uh, um haven't tell you about this. Um, so 10 years ago, at my friend's house, uh, so we were karaoke because they make a mistake by buying a machine. So, a mistake. so now, here in public, I, I'm very shy in public. I'm like, no, I don't want to sing. I don't want to hear people hear my voice. But my friend that I know very well, and you dare to buy a karaoke machine into your house? Oh, please. <laughs> I'm, I am go at it all night long. And... And I was singing Britney, uh, Whitney Houston, you know, I, always, I will always love you. And you know that high note at the end where she, she's like, I know, like really high. My dad's friend kicked me out for screeching. He said he say that at midnight you screeching, demon and spirit going to go into my house. You need to go home. How rude. Hear this. Um, and then you put some... I would say 3D jelly, so it will be more embossed. You're pretty much done here. Um, right now, I'm just uh, bit, uh, embellish it. So I take 3D jelly, and I make it even more um, embossed. And then I put some stud around it, or you can put some pixie gel, just whatever you like. Oh, after this, I will show you how to apply bead. How about that? Cause a lot of people are struggle with beat until this day they struggle with it. So I show you how to apply go beat around the eyes. See that here? How dare him for kicking me out for screeching? That we say that's the exact word that he say screeching. I say excuse me, I'm singing. He say no, you screeching. You are howling and screeching and demon and spirit going to go into my house. I never forget that. I have never viewed my voice as screeching, but I guess I did. All right, I'm killing it for 60 seconds. That is a full cure. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm showing you how you be. We're pretty much done right here. I'm just, just some little extra. Remember, I always teach you extra just in case you want to use that technique, then you can use that. So, a lot of people are afraid of this little bee. So, let me get this baby ready. So, for a pickup and bee, you need something small. 10 millimeters or a 7 millimeter will do. Okay, something small. The reason why it's small is, let me dip it in gel and show you. 3D gel, let me take it out. Okay, let me show you why you need some, something small for the beat. Because when you pick up beat, let's say this chaos beat right here. You're picking up, there are only one or two. See? That's it. Now, when you take a big brush, let me take a pointy brush and show you what could have gone wrong. If it's a big brush like this, when you dip it in, you dip in a whole bunch. And you cannot really apply a whole bunch. So to be careful, you have to really watch your beat. And if you don't want to watch it, you just use a small brush because when you dip it in, you take out just one. Okay, that, that is a secret. So the dragon eye, I take 3D jelly again. I'm gonna apply a line of wet gel. At this point, everything is dry. This need no top coat, this need no top coat, everything is dry. That is one more advantage to 3D jelly is that it's no wipe. 
So I will boot beat all around this area. And it's gonna be a little tricky because it's bumpy. It's texturized. Okay, so I'm picking in. Let me see, make sure you can see me. And sometimes when you run out of gel in your brush, what you do is that you stick it in the previous gel on the line right here and keep on going. That is another trick. See how convenient it is? And then I'm gonna use smaller B for down here. Okay, now I'm gonna adjust this. Make sure that everything is aligned before I cure this. If you have a flashlight, this will be the time to use it. Because when you do never your crime, you don't wanna have this and tell her, put your hand into the light, she's gonna mess that up. You cannot judge her. Well, see, I look for two seconds and look, look at don't trust her. Don't Take, trust. don't trust your client. Don't trust her, even if she's your best friend. You, you lie to kill it yourself to make sure that it's freeze before you tell her. Go ahead and put on the lights, cause she, she will mess that up. Trust me. Yes, I'm hungry. It's my tummy. I'm hungry. I haven't had anything yet. I wake up and I dive into this immediately. But the, it's just a uh, interactive live, so I'm not. I'm not. I don't have to spend all day long. So um, I eat right after. Wait. Wasn't pay attention. With I this, know. with this, you have to pay attention. What, what now, Dustin? I want to know top coat on top of 3D gel will ruin it. Top coat on top of 3D gel will not ruin it. It just wastes more time. Because 3D gel doesn't need top coat. Now, if you build a gel, then you have to put top coat on it because it's going to be sticky. But then that's going to waste a little bit of time, which is valuable. See how easy I, 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 I do with it be? You remember, if you want to save more time, you put your client hand right above the beat. So you don't have to reach anywhere far. You can just reach down, pick up a beat, and put it right on. Shh, shh. We promised you were going to be a good puppy. We promised. Come on. Come on. No? No? Come on. You don't get to play the kitty. I have a plan. Hear these. Look at that dragon eyes. Now you can trust your client. Now you say, go ahead and put your hand into the light. Now the, the behind the eye, it's just a natural nails. I don't paint anything on it, but you can. You can paint some white on it. I just don't. I just leave it natural. Paint white behind the white eye. Nope. Hi, one Tiana. Hello, one Tiana. Um, Tiana, tomorrow they're gonna be not live. Uh, let me show you guys pretty quick. Tomorrow, uh, it's Rip Jean now set. Okay, interactive live at ten tomorrow Central Time. Make sure you go in on time tomorrow so you can do it with me. Uh, let me write out the material for you. I'm gonna write out the material. So let me get a notepad out. Uh, tomorrow, this is what you need. Okay, rip chin. I see what you're doing, honey. You're going on everyday lives, so I have to, you get quiet time for me and the dogs. You and your new friends. 
I know, right? That's what people do when they have baby. They're like, I be out here in a minute, I run an errand. And you be like at the spa, while your husband <laughs> at home waiting for you. Sometimes you just give, shoot them a text, I miss you. Just, you know, just keep them at bay so you, they don't go crazy. Wow. Uh, rip chin technique, you need a deep blue polish, a deep navy blue gel polish. Make sure that it's gel, okay? Let me show you. I have this blue right here that I like. Okay, this is a blue that I use. Let me show you on top of this palette right here. So you need this right here. If you don't have this shade, then you can use any shade of blue, but make it deep. Okay, make it deep. Uh, tomorrow I'll show you how to mix it if you don't have. But you should have some deep blue colors. You should. Now, ombre sponge is a must. Ombre sponge. Hopefully that by now you have all the ombre sponge ready. It, um, it's been on the website for a while. So you should have ombre sponge. It's very important to do gel ombre, which a day we'll definitely do an interactive light on gel ombre. So everybody will get the gel ombre down. Ombre sponge, white gel polish. Okay. So deep navy blue gel polish, ombre sponge, white gel polish, black gel polish. Gel pen, <coughs> black and white, black and white. Gel pen, okay, let me see what else. Nude gel polish. For the ripped chin, you need nude gel polish. Now, the next one is very important. You have to have the next one. White texture effect gel. You have to have that effect gel. Now, if you don't have that, then you have to skip the rip, rip, uh, rip jean because we're going to use it to make like little 3D thread, little crazy thread uh, around the ribs. That what you need white texture effect uh, gel for. And that's it for tomorrow. You need that matte, uh, shine and matte top coat is a must. All the brush out is a must too. You have that all your art brush ready. And then this will be for tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. All right. I hope you guys enjoy the dragon today. This is some spider gel. Nope, it's not. Spider gel is sticky. And spider gel is not thick enough. It's too thin. When it's stretched out, it's way too thin. Uh, if you don't have white texture effect, you can use our spider gel to play with. Uh, someone send me live. How oh, nice. Thank you, ADP, ADMP Nails. Thank you. I hope you enjoy the uh, uh, follow along step by step today. I hope by now a good hundred of you is have this design ready. Uh, if you have this design, tag me on this. If you follow along, tag me on this. I will repost it for you. It'll be good, okay? It'll be good. Now, um, I will see you tomorrow for the rip chin. You are welcome, Cloud28. Thank you. Thank you, Chinagala Artistry Nail Bar. Thank you. Thank you, Dermot Salon Boutique. Thank you, Griff, uh, Griffin. Thank you, Candy. Thank you, Olga. Any expensive, what's the difference between spider gel and texture gel? Texture gel, you can engrave with. So you apply it and you can engrave it just like this gel. This is texture gel. You can engrave this in. It's also no white, so you can put chrome in. It's non-cell leveling. Uh, spider gel is just for you to make little um, jelly line across and some straight line. Spider gel, it, it has different purpose. I will definitely go into spider gel um, later on. Have a great day, Jania. Thank you, Lutika Salon.
Thank you, Lucid Lady. Starfire, have a good day. Starfire, Cat Now Seventy A, have a good day. Show the list uh, of the Rip Chin, please. There is a list. Have it out. Always a pleasure. Go see. Have a good day, Lala. Go see. Be sure be on time tomorrow. Thank you.